I'm here right now with Jill Sherratt, and Jill is the head of licensing at Naphthan Solicitors, as you can see in the background there. So welcome, Jill. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, just kick off, Jill, and tell us a little bit about uh, Naphthan Solicitors, what, what you're all about, what you do, etc. cetera. Um, I joined Naphthan Solicitors pretty recently. It's under a year ago since um, I was taken in to Naphthan's um, to head up licensing. Um, we've had a, I've had a relationship with Naphthan's for many years prior to that um, because I own my own company, which is Licensing Matters, um, fairly close by and, and we've known of each other and uh, very complimentary businesses and we've been working together for a while. So when, when the opening came up for the head of licensing, um, it was a perfect fit, really. So, um, yeah, that's, that's why I'm here at Naphthan's. But I do actually two hats professionally I have my own business which is licensing matters that essentially is run by other people now because I'm at Naphthan's um, pretty much full-time okay and uh, just talk about licensing matters and what's the, the background there and how did that come about and where's it going well licensing matters so so it's alcohol licensing and entertainment so it's it's the licensed trade it's pubs clubs um, anything really, restaurants, um, convenience stores, um, and it's licensing matters is there as basically protectors of the trade. We represent the trade, we make applications, we conduct training, we're a, an accredited training provider for all types of licensing qualifications. And the way that that started, my background is in policing. I was in the police in Lancashire Coast Avery. And I was in the licensing department for five years, um, working under the old legislation, 1964 uh, legislation, very, very old fashioned liquor licensing. And um, the law changed in 2005 and it was completely out with the old in with the new, a complete start, fresh start. And I enjoyed what I did. And I just thought I could become an expert in, in this. If I start from the very beginning and, and I, left, I left the police, um, to do what I was enjoying. I set up licensing matters and I have never looked back. It took on a life of its own right from the very beginning because people did need help. That change was really quite frightening for them. Although they got their licenses automatically, they did have to apply for them. And a lot of the contacts I still have now are people who did, did uh, incorrectly. They did it wrong, they panicked and they needed somebody to help them. So that's what set licensing matters up. But since then it's grown through word of mouth alone um, people who know how I look after I look after them, um, uh, they, they, they've told others about me and, and the trade has found out about licensing matters and 18 years down the line, and we work nationally, um, we're, we're known as one of the, the national um, suppliers of licensing services. I've given evidence to the House of Lords um, in 2017, we work to the highest level, but what we really do and, and, and the, the point that's important about licensing matters is we translate the points of law in an understandable down-to-earth way and that is really what um, is at the heart of licensing matters. Great stuff and um, now you're at Naphthans, um, has that niche broadened from licensing? Yes it has, it's brought a completely different set of clientele um, which is great. Um, there's, there's a lot for me now to get my teeth into. It's the same subject matter, so it's no different to me. The job is exactly the same, but the contacts are very, very different because, of course, I've gone from, you know, a relatively small business uh, working in, in a particular arena, really, um, to, uh, to, to this big organisation where um, there's so much more than licensing offered. You know, so it's it's a much bigger picture, but one that, that um, is is a real challenge for me, and I'm really enjoying it. Great stuff. Uh, so a year ago, it, it all started with Naphthans. Yeah, just under a year ago, it did. Yeah. and it's funny because you know we did we didn't know. I think obviously I'm not a solicitor, and so I, we didn't really know from both sides how it was going to go. Um, it was it was a jump in the dark for both, but. You know, we, we, we both wanted to see what would happen. And to be honest, again, it's taken on a life of its own. At Naphthans, I think it's um, uh, the ability for me to expand it. The, the future is, is really bright in terms of where we can go with licensing at Naphthans, and it's very exciting. So for any business out there, Jill, 
that wants um, advice or legal or legal um, um, assistance with with licensing. Um, obviously, you've got your service. Um, what what would you say differentiates what you do uh, via Naphthans versus other solicitors that might offer the same service to to anyone? Yeah, well, we're very different um, and, and unique, actually. Oh, right. And I would go so far as say we're unique. Well, the, the reason being is what I, what I my background and what I bring to the party. There's no one out there within a solicitor's firm. I, I, I might stand to be corrected on that, but as far as I know, that has the background I have, being able to um, use my policing knowledge, the way the police operate, how to deal with them, what they want from things, is worth its weight in gold. It really is. And so you then throw on top of that the legal knowledge that I've amassed over over 20 years, um, the knowledge and also the, the differentiation is, I think uh, I've found out that a lot of solicitors tend to work regionally. Well, I've worked nationally over all of this time. I know what um, the, the councils are like in, in you know, Maidstone, uh, London, I've given evidence in Westminster. Um, that breadth of knowledge um, is invaluable. It really, really is. But then with Naphthans comes the local feel. What I like about Naphthans, and bearing in mind, you know, I had my own business, didn't need to take the job at Naphthans, but what, what did it for me was the way they are as a company. They're all about relationships, which is exactly what I'm all about as well. And, and that's why the fit was perfect. So, um it, it's it's not too much to say we have everything. Sounds a little bit much, but it's true. We do. We have everything because I've brought my knowledge and my background into a legal arena here at Naphthans, and, and we can give it all now to the clients, including with with licensing matters came the tra training elements as well. Um, yeah. Sounds like you were uh, you were a great acquisition for Naphthans. That's for sure. Well, I hope so, and I hope I hope they think so, and and I I certainly haven't. You know, it was an unknown to me. I'd never ever worked in, in a company like this before, but I haven't found anything that's that shocked me, frightened me, or yeah. I haven't thought, you know, I've thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Not at all. It's it's quite the opposite. So what does the future look like for licensing in Naphthans then? The future is, is, gosh, a lot of work over the next kind of two years. I think there's a, there's a lot to be done to... Um, get the name out. I want to take Naphthans National. Um, you know, Naphthans is growing anyway. I don't think there's much effort required from me on that. On that, I, I need to get to know their client base. It's, you know, I am only a, a year in, um, so I need to get out and about to to show the clients, the existing clients of Naphthans, what what we can do for them in terms of licensing. And then I want to broaden the scope a bit. So. I might have thought after 18 years I was slowing down a bit. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to do. Yeah. So it's very, very, very exciting. And I am as enthusiastic now, well, even more so than, than I was when I started. Yeah. So so what will the challenges be along the way, Jill? Energy. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to just get it all done. And um, we're gonna we're gonna need to build um you know, resilience in so that when the work, you know, hopefully um, comes in even more and more that, that, that we can we can cope with that. But, you know, seeing the way that Natsons is growing um, from inside, I don't think that will be a problem. The support is absolutely fantastic at it here. That's the beauty of it for me. I'm seeing with a big enough organisation, they've got those um, resources um, and, and built in already. So, you know, the challenge is it's really replicating, but not as difficult, actually, what I did when I built my own business up from scratch. That was yeah. hard. That was really hard. Mm -hmm. Doing that on your own is, is not easy. And I had many and many sleepless nights over a lot of years setting up licensing matters. To do it with a, a company like this um, is, is not going to be as difficult for me, I don't think. So, so what yeah. have you learned along the way, Joe? What uh, wisdom can you share? gosh where do I start that if you're good at what you do you can do it it would be the first thing I haven't the first clue about setting up a business and I remember 
my, my, my phone ringing for the first time and me ringing my ex-police colleague and saying, somebody wants to instruct me, somebody wants to pay me, and I was amazed. And that's how it started. And if you go, But if you're good at what you do, people want you to work for them and they want you to take that pressure off them. And I think that's really the, 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 the main thing I would say. If you're good at it, get on with it because you will do well. Yeah. And uh, another one that might help people with the benefit of hindsight, knowing what you now know, what, what might you do differently if you had all that time again? Well, linking it to what I've just said about being good at what you do, I wish I'd worried less. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I've always worried about the business. Um, not realising how strong it was um, and it's moved and gone up year and year and year with licensing matters. I wish I'd worried less, but that hindsight is a wonderful thing, isn't it? And with hindsight, again, I should have taken more risks. I should have, I should have, yeah. But it, it's a difficult thing because it's a very personal thing and, and um, it depends what you're after in life, doesn't it? It depends, mm. there's a lot to think about. So, but I think, yeah, if I had my time again, I'd certainly set up a year earlier, if not two years earlier, because the Licensing Act that year, 2005, uh, I wish I'd already been in business. Yeah. <laughs> I set up in the May. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I wish I'd been a bit more of a risk taker. But yeah. Just believe a bit more, yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's difficult though when you 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 do just leave. I left just thinking I can do that, but not actually. It took a long time to build in all the things around that, um, and actually, like a you know, I am a businesswoman now. Absolutely, first and foremost, I know what I'm doing, but it takes time to learn. So you've just got to keep at it, keep doing what you do um, for people well, and everything else will fall into place. Great advice, Jill. Thank you very much. That's been awesome. Okay, thank you.